hey everyone welcome welcome to the channel you know i decided i wanted to try to make lasagna um i went to the supermarket just the other day and the lasagna i saw it and it struck my eyes i took it up and then i was reading the package and i was like this is definitely not hard to make it is so easy to make but the only thing is i just didn't know how it would taste so i decided okay let me try to make it so these are different types of cheese uh, we have mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese and the other colored one with the what color is that yellow and stuff that i think that one is some mexican mix cheese or something of the sort so you can just use any cheese of your preference that you like you can use that in it and i did a crack a egg in this and now i am mixing all of it up no i should have definitely made more of this this one but anyway i only make this amount and come on remember i am not i'm not a chef many times i cook on this channel i just try and if it works it works and if it does not work then it does not work okay so yes as i said i, I crack an egg the, re the recipe that i saw um called for a, a egg so i did put it in that as well now this is the pan that i am going to use for the lasagna and uh, um might i had this is not the first time i'm trying to make it but this is actually the second the first time i made it it tastes uh, let me tell you it even tastes better than than the second try but the noodles i didn't boil them or pre cook them because the recipe that i watched didn't ask for that and it didn't turn out so well you know so i decided let me make it again and get it and get it on camera this time didn't get much on camera because this was actually a tuesday night and tuesdays i go to church um so i just asked my son to cook the minced beef told him how i wanted to cook so you know let me just rush through that don't have any footage of that um so i cook it up cook the minced beef up then had onions and pepper if you like spice to it when that comes out a bit then i add my tomato sauce and uh, you also had quite a bit of tomato sauce yes the recipe really calls for a lot of tomato sauce and uh, this is this is it this is it this is actually and i bought um two type of tomato sauce i think it's the ragu brand it's a chunky one and it's the other the other one and this is the lasagna they are uh medium boiled they're not fully cooked because remember we're going to pop it in the oven as well so yes this, this is how it's looking and when i do it like this it is just easier to lay you know it's easier to lay in the pan it's not hard to lay in the pan like when i did it the first time i had to be breaking it open and and to tell you guys i also had a, a round pan not a square one so it was just all downhill from beginning but let me tell you it tasted better than this one <laughs> it really did to me and one thing i found out when i was made when i made it and the other day when i eat it again it actually tastes um even better when it is uh, overnight i put it in the fridge i take out a piece in the morning or in i think it's in the afternoon and i warmed it up and it tastes really good after i heat that i had to go and take another piece so i think this eats so much it tastes so much better it tastes good when it's just done fresh and all of that but to me it tastes 10 times better when it is uh, overnight i don't know why For some reason this tastes better extra better or more better overnight no i asked my son to to lay these for me and he was there laying them first you know we got the beef or that on, on the bottom 
and before i even get into that the beef cooked for one hour yes the beef cooked for one hour yeah and then so you know you have to turn your stove way down yeah you gotta turn it down because the beef actually cook for an hour so this this was it so i hope you enjoy this video remember i'm not a chef i try recipes and there are a lot of recipes that i post recipes that i post and i definitely will be trying them this scripture here tell you you can the word of god is here to clean all of us up right yeah. it's not just to clean up your dressing hello all right. skirt get long but does heart get clean Okay, um, just to let you know, I'm actually outside in my yard doing this voiceover, so you'll definitely, I know you'll be here in the breeze and the puppy is making some noise, but anyway, this is the finish, this is the finished look. This is how it's looking and let me tell you the cheesy cheese cheese on it mm -mm -mm. I, I, I couldn't when i was putting the cheese on it my son was like mommy it is too much too much cheese too much cheese but if i had more cheese trust me i would use it or it would need more because the cheese is nice and i think the cheese um it just carries it off you know so you can try this it is a very easy recipe it's basically a one pot dish and you can make enough that you can bring it to 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 work for your lunch because um yeah it is something that let me tell you tastes good the other day and the other day you know something that you can prepare and have it you know eating just warming and and stuff like that so it did taste well and you know many times i make meals like this they're a bit clyde like meatballs i find to be very clyde and um pasta shrimp pasta or chicken pasta i find it to be very clyde so most of the time it's only when you know i feel to make something you know a bit out there i will make these things it's not something that i will make on a regular basis because as i say as i said it is a bit it is a bit cloudy and um but sometimes you just want something different different from the rice or the the dumpling or the yams and bananas you know something just different and these are things that i do these things that i do meatballs pasta um shrimp pasta chicken pasta and this is an added one as, as well lasagna and i saw another one i think it, the name is what is the name linguine something of the sort and i said i wanted to try that as well so remember if you're watching this or if you made it to this far of the video remember to subscribe to the channel that you and hit that notification bell that you'll be notified each time i post a new video okay thank you for watching continue you can even bench watch some of the videos and remember one more thing that um, a sister of mine always said and uh, um this is very important so i pick it up and i'm saying it as well make sure you watch the videos in their entirety because if you don't watch the videos in their entirety it's a possibility that i will not be getting the watch count and you know um that would really help me out to build my watch count okay so thanks again for watching um please stay tuned because uh, there's lots more lots more to come because as i've said on the previous video we will be traveling to montego bay so stay tuned for that as well thanks for watching guys bye